Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name's Lainey. Today I have a really fun video for you guys. One that I've wanted to execute for a really long time but I had no way of doing. But before I get into this video, I want to say thank you so much to Halara for sponsoring. I'm extra cozy today. I've got, got this <laughs> Halara little waffle knit bubblegum pink zip up on that's so cozy. And I'm gonna show you a bunch of their other stuff. Uh, it's like the perfect either athletic or athleisure or you wanna look cute but be comfortable. I also have a pair of their shorts that I've been wearing non-stop. They're in the wash right now, otherwise I would have them on. I'll show you what I got. Should we do that now? I'll show you what I got from Halara now and then we can get into the styling. Here are the shorts that I couldn't stop talking about. I got them out of the wash. Uh, I styled them here with like a jacket and a little bit more of a dressed up way. They're the perfect length. They're this like buttery legging material. They have like built-in spandex shorts, the pockets, hidden so you can like stick your phone in there or whatever which I just appreciate so much because I always need hands free so I love how sleek these look they're literally so flattering the prices for Halara are like insane and then if you guys want 15% off you can use the link in the description to shop Halara so then I have this really pretty royal blue like perfectly cropped hoodie it's not too cropped super cute like this is an outfit in as itself. Next thing I got is definitely for when I go back to ballet. I honestly love like a legging that has a visible pocket and a drawstring that almost feel like jogger-esque. Yeah, these are just super flattering. The material is literally so good. They like feel the same as Lululemon honestly and are a fraction of the price. So cute. Can you guys imagine me going to ballet now? Those are my tondus. Here are those same little black shorts, but I got them in red because are these just not like what I've been obsessed with? Pair these with like a big chunky sweater and like uh, Mary Jane's. That's how I'll be styling them. Why are these pants so good? Oh my God, I was not expecting that honestly. Like that these pants are from kind of an athletic brand. These are the coziest pants in the whole world. Damn, what the heck? Okay. Okay, you guys also, it's just an elastic waist. Like these are literally sweatpants, but they're not. This little mini skirt is from Halara. Uh, it's this adorable low waisted pleated mini skirt with built in spandex. Holy guacamole, they really did it all. I have boxers on so I can show you. There's a button in these, but like this is how stretchy they are. You don't even need to button them. Little brown corduroy pants that feel like sweatpants, legging boot cut legging. Again, I would just wear them to LA probably. They're super flattering. They've got like fun buttons and pockets and I'd wear them to ballet just like this. And lastly, a little slate gray pant. These have like buttons up the front. And again, they just feel like legging material, but they really don't look like athletic wear. And I feel like that's what Halara is doing is making things like comfy enough. We'll want to wear them and lounge around in them, but they're still really cute. In this style, I did size up also because I could see myself rolling them down just because I like a little bit of a lower waist. Last pair of leggings. These are so fun and I would definitely be wearing these to ballet. Uh, material, they've got the little hidden pockets as well. Like kind of hidden, but nice like seams and stuff. These are like fun how sparkly they are. I just feel like I'm going to ballet when I wear leggings. I don't wear leggings unless I'm working out or something. I really am so happy with all these pieces from Halara. I've been seeing so many TikTok ads of them and just like people talk about them. So I'm happy that I got to try them out for you guys. I definitely approve. They're literally amazing quality, a really good price and like fun styles I've never seen before. So if you guys want to shop Halara, use the link in the description box. You can get 15% off. Let's get into me styling you. Okay, so if you guys haven't heard of the app Open Wardrobe before, you basically get to upload your clothes from your own closet and do make little like pick stitchy collages of outfits you want to wear. And I've actually been using the app so much recently because my baby sleeps in my room, so then I don't have access to my closet to like go and look at my clothes and you know, figure out outfits. So I just play on my phone and basically play with my outfits, my clothes and create outfits for you guys. And it's honestly made me put so many pieces together that I don't think I would have ever put together and I had you guys DM me your account so I could make outfits with your pieces and I think that this is just so it's so stinking fun it's a personal stylist but like add your friends to your account and they can like suggest outfits for you oh my god I'm obsessed okay so I don't know why I didn't just save these outfits to your open wardrobe account if I used your closet so I'm really sorry but you can screenshot them here so the first 
closet I di did was Lucia Menes is the name. Okay, and let me just get into it. She had insane pieces. A lot of these people had insane pieces. So let me look through her closet right now and I'll screen record it for you guys. And let me know if this is fun. And then also, you know what I want to do? I want to share my closet with you guys. Alexa Sunshine, 83. <laughs> she uh, just posted this on her Instagram. She hasn't filmed the video yet, but it just seems like it'd be so fun for you guys to style me. So I'm gonna leave instructions at the end of the video how to access my open wardrobe account and then you guys can style me and I will try on outfits for you for the video because obviously I don't have these pieces so I can't style them. Lots of sneakers, athletic pants, jeans, cutie tops, so many accessories that I didn't use. Um, and then a few of the pieces seem like maybe they're wish list items for Lucia. Lucia, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but let's get into it. First, she has these insane leather pants. I can't tell if they're brown or black, but they have brown stitching. And either way, golden, I'm obsessed. So I thought leather pants with a camo top would be so fun. Where would you go in this outfit? Maybe like a night out, honestly, with your friends, I think would be really fun. I don't know, going to the bar or something. Go to the apple orchard in this, fall vibes. I don't know, but this camo top is so good. I love how she cut it. So I think camo and leather together, so stinking good. And the fact that it's not patent leather, it's a matte leather makes it work. If it was patent leather, it'd be fugly, sorry. And then I thought the red bag, I don't know if you own this bag because it looks like a picture from the website, but if you don't buy it, I don't know where it's from. It's adorable. And then just to be like super sleek with the rest of it, I just added her little black leather boots. So, so stinking cute. And then also these people have had open wardrobe accounts. So I was looking through their pieces that they've styled themselves. So good. So many things that I would have done. Okay, next outfit is a lot more girly and it's just so cool that you can have this really androgynous outfit from her closet and then go to something like this. She has the coolest leather bottoms. This leather skirt is insanely cool and I think pairing it with the last time we did a super masculine top, doing a super feminine top like this polka dot, I think it's right realization. Yeah, realization par. Polka dot blouse. I think a Adorable. I've been loving like red gingham and leather and like even blue gingham and leather, gingham and leather, polka dots and leather for the fall time. I think it really makes a way to keep your summer pieces fall appropriate. So I think this was the only little black leather or black bag she had. I don't love that it's nylon. I wish it was a black leather bag or maybe just something entirely different. This is what I felt worked. And then kitten heels to just, again, make it super feminine. I think she could also pair her little um, black boots from the last side with this there's a lot of combination even the red bag if maybe it wasn't such a cherry red the top and the red bag were a little closer in color it could work it could work in person um you never know with these kind of photos okay and then this was the last outfit i did look at me actually giving accessories so I just did a plain like black pair of slacks is what they look like to me. A black graphic tee and then I'm not normally a big blazer girl but I really like this gray and brown right now. Honestly like all these muted colors. I don't know if my fall fashion video is out already but if it is you're gonna see in that video like my early fall fashion is just muted colors but still summer silhouette so you can feel like you're dressing for fall time when it's still like 80 degrees outside. So I added her brown coach bag, her brown I think these are gazelles and and little brown sunglasses. So I'm just obsessed with this color combo. I think it's adorable. Those were my three outfits I did for Lucia. Let's keep going. Okay, next person's wardrobe is Jenna, which is denim bows. Let's look at what her closet entailed. I already made these outfits off camera because I just knew. That kind of stuff takes me so long, you guys. I was just doing it while baby was napping and I was just playing on my phone, making everyone's outfits. Okay, so Jenna has lots of plaid, gingham, denim, pretty feminine outfit. Outfits. I would say this looks like leaning towards like cottage core y vibes. I feel like most of her stuff looks like thrifted. She's got insane pieces, like just the coziest looking pieces. Let's look what I made for Jenna. First outfit, I'm just obsessed with this tote bag she has. It's this beautiful like chartreuse color. If it showed up true on camera, then it's a chartreuse color. I don't know if it actually is. So her sneakers and her bag were really good. So I paired those two together. And then just to keep it simple with the outfit, this really nice uh, crew neck sweater perfection and then a black pleated skirt. And then her accessories are really speaking for themselves here, I, I think personally. I think add a little pair of sunnies and you're good to go. I don't know if they
they were in her closet, but I'm sure she has sunglasses. Maybe she wears real glasses. That works too. Yeah, simple outfit, but a good silhouette and vibrant accessories. Super cute. As you can tell, I like the chartreuse bag. I think the bag and like darker colors looks amazing together. So she had this adorable, it looks vintage sweater vest. Um, I paired it with black jeans and then I don't know if these are black or blue little ballet flats, but again, I just like all these really dark muted colors together, but that bag is too good. Like add the pop of color with that bag, adorable. Both these outfits like are just super casual day to day wear. You could wear them to work depending on your job or just like a weekend out running errands. You wanna look cute, this last one, I tried to make a little bit Bit more dressy but her clothes did lean more casual so I felt like I struggled a little bit but the colors in this again are just so good I don't know why I've been so into colors recently and not as much like silhouette or like even pattern really like colors is what are speaking to me I don't know if it's about the fall time or what so we have this a beautiful like royal blue sweater with like almost a boat neck the wide sleeves that I love <laughs> My mom is texting me because she's watching my baby while I film. Um, and then I paired it with a brown maxi skirt, plaid maxi skirt, I think it looks so good. And then the blue and these like coral color shoes just complement each other so stinking well. I think they look amazing together. And just added a little black satchel bag. I think that, yeah, it's just like a good color blocking outfit. I don't know, adorable. You could wear this again anywhere. Next we have Samantha. So Samantha had L Sam, Samantha, Sammy, I don't know what you go by had less outer pieces in her closet, but still she had like such good pieces that I had to play with her clothes basically. Let me just show you what I made. First outfit, something I would 10,000% wear. Like I keep saying, I'm really liking like gingham and leather. So these are like little plaid boxer shorts, navy. And then I added black leather sambas and a black leather like moto jacket that I would just zip all the way up. And this little red, I think Fendi bag, so good, so good, I'm jealous. So I really like like red and navy blue and black together, good colors good silhouette. This is a girl, good early fall outfit. You could just pair a little white t-shirt under a leather jacket and like take it off once it gets hot. If you like start off in the morning with this and it's cold, you know how that goes. Next outfit, again, very much these muted colors that I am obsessed with. I say as I'm wearing a bubblegum pink <laughs> zip up. This green jacket, the picture looks too good. Like, I don't know if she owns it or if she got it online, but it is such a good jacket. Pair it with like an Adidas track pant. Obsessed. I love this bomber cut with an Adidas track pant. I have a similar bomber cut jacket, but it's like a nylon material, a tan nylon material. And I want like an art or a dark green color like this to pair with like a navy blue pant, Adidas track pant. But I think these are black. Either way, they're so good. Then she had these brown moto boots that look like an image from online. If you don't have them, they're so cute. You should get them. And I think like this kind of moto boot with an Adidas track pant, it's that wrong shoe theory. And I think it's so good. Okay, then I didn't want just a black bag, so I added this tan bag she has. I almost added that red Fendi bag, I remember, but I didn't. And then just to make it really casual, she had these little cap, so I added that. Okay, last outfit, red, white, and blue, which I'm into also. I think you can still wear white pants after Labor Day, especially a white skirt. I don't follow that rule. So here's this outfit. Red Fendi bag just looks so good with that really deep blue denim jacket. I don't know why that was so hard. This is a little white tiered dress or a skirt. I think they're so good in the summertime, obviously, but then transitioning them into fall is super easy as well. And then I just really like these Pumas she had. Um, I'm so into just like a funky sneaker that you don't see all the time. I get when people are like, oh, I'm sick of Sambas. Like, I get it, you're sick of Sambas, me too, but I'm not gonna stop wearing my sambas okay but then i see she like this and i'm like oh wow i should really reach for a different shoe because this is so cute and like this outfit would be cute with sambas but it would just be so much more basic and with this puma she has so good and it really dresses it down okay next wardrobe we have is Kylie. In her current wardrobe, lots of sweaters, lots of boxer shorts, pops of red, tights, lots of muted colors, white tops, jacket. Did I say reds? Yeah, just really good, really good stuff. I will say the one thing I struggled when putting these outfits together were her bag and shoe choices. I don't know if it's because a lot of the sneak or the sneakers were like stock images or not 
stock images, but like pictures from online. So the white sneakers look so white that it was like really stark with what I was like putting together. Okay, here's the first outfit. I did her perfect overalls. I'm so jealous, they look so good. And then I added a off the shoulder sweater to like make it a little bit more preppy and dressed up juxtaposition of the overalls. And then keeping that like dressed up effect, I thought these little red uh, ballet flats were adorable. And like I said, like the bag choices, I'm not hating on your bags. You have cute bags, but for the outfits I was putting together, I felt like there wasn't the right bag there. I think this even with like a tote bag, and I'm guessing you have a tote bag, but you didn't upload it on your wardrobe. I'm not obsessed with the black bag, but I do think it works. I love the rest of the outfit though, so good. Okay, next outfit, the black bag does work. This is such a simple outfit. If you have a really good fitted black mini skirt, add a turtleneck, pop a color turtleneck, and then an either riding boot or just knee high black heeled boot, whatever. You have such like a cool Rachel Green like 90s outfit. You can add tights if it's colder and then like fur jacket, a trench coat, whatever jacket you want. But this for fall time, perfection. So simple, but so, so good. And then this one I was trying to have a little bit more fun with. I'm playing with the colors like you can see. I love this like rust silk dress. So I did that and then I put this like blue, navy blue court navy blue crew neck on top of it. So it dresses it down a lot and then black accessories. I love a midi length. I think that dress would be midi length dress with a knee high boot. I think that it is very fall appropriate and super, super cozy. So I love that as well. Kylie, I hope you like those. Okay, we have a few more. Did I do another one for Kylie? Yeah, I did another one for Kylie. Why? I don't know. I guess I wasn't happy with the other ones or I was very inspired by her clothes. So we took her boxer shorts and we're dressing them up. So I really like like a growl fit right now with a pop of red or like navy. I'm just into like gray right now, which is so weird because I feel like I didn't like gray for a really long time and I would lean more towards black and now I'm not wearing black as much. Okay, so we have her gray boxer shorts, her gray crew neck, gray cardigan, I'm sorry. And then I paired it with her sheer black tights, her black boot, and then the pop of red bag. This outfit is so cool, girl. Like Pinterest board material. So stinking cute. And I feel like I'm not saying Kylie's never thought of this outfit outfit before. I'm sure she has, but th these wardrobes are very normal. They're not 300 plus pieces that we're working with and, um, you know, all the designer and insane pieces. They're just normal wardrobes. They're what mine look like. I'm sure they're what yours look like and we can make such cool girl outfits from them. So I don't know, it made me happy. So this is Lenny's closet or Lenny. I'm not sure how you say it, I'm sorry. So she has lots of lighter pieces. She even has bikinis in here, swimsuits, a lot of shoes, jacket, just like a very well-rounded closet, honestly. She's got a lot of pieces in here also. And I only got to two outfits because something happened. I don't know what, but she has this pleated dress that I think is so pretty, this midi pleated dress. And I really wanted to make it more androgynous and dress it down. So this dark denim jacket over it, I think is so perfect for the fall time. And then you just see the bottom, like it looks like a pleated skirt. This dark denim jacket, oh my God, it's so good. I'm very jealous if you have it. I can't tell sometimes if they're like wish list items or you guys actually have them. And then just pairing it with black Doc Martens and like a little tote bag. It's perfect. So easy, effortless, chic, obsessed. Okay, then I kind of did like the same take on that outfit, honestly. This leather Sherpa jacket I think is so beautiful. It literally adds so much to an outfit. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. So putting that over just like a fitted black maxi dress, I hope, or in my head, this maxi dress like goes all the way to your ankles. So then I think with the black Doc Martens, it's super cute. And then she has this black leather backpack in her wardrobe and I love it. I'm so into like a little black backpack instead of a purse right now. And I've been wearing one all the time because it's my baby's diaper bag. So yeah, I really, really like that. So this is Chamomile Day. Wait, I know what her name is. Kate. I know Kate from Discord. If you guys aren't joining my Discord, I'll put the link in the description box to join. The link expires every seven days for Discord. Don't ask me why, I don't get it. So if you are watching this past seven days or just too many people click the link and it expires, just comment and ask and I can share it with you guys or somebody else will. Kate always posts her outfits on the Discord and I feel like all of us have so much fun looking at her pieces and her outfit she put together. She has amazing stuff 
style, amazing pieces, the best accessories. Um, our Discord is just so much fun. People share their like outfit of the days and outfit dilemmas. And I feel like if you guys wanted to share your open wardrobes on Discord, you guys would have so much fun with each other. So. That's just an idea. So let's get into Kate's wardrobe. I was excited when I saw she had an open wardrobe account that I could look at all her stuff. She has just the most unique pieces. I feel like Kate could pair any of her pieces with like, I don't know, something so boring and her whole outfit would look so good because she just has these hero pieces is what I would call them. Like, Every single piece in her wardrobe is a hit. I am jealous. You kill it, Kate. Let me get into the outfits I made for Kate. I was looking at her outfits that she had already saved and I was like, what am I even doing? She doesn't need my help. Not that any of you guys do, but I still had fun. Kate also has a burst a Birkin basket so you know that I used and abused that thing in all these outfits. So first she has this adorable little pinstripe blouse and I'm pretty sure she's or the open wardrobe account said it was from American Eagle which is like of course American Eagle would have these kind of blouses. So good. It looks like something that would be on everyone's Pinterest board. I paired it under one of her or her pair of overalls Birkin basket and then these little brown like suede flats are so good. This color everything about these colors so good. I love it. Okay next outfit Kate has these red striped pants they almost look like cargo pants so cute I don't know if they're full length or capris either way would work honestly so I really like the muted tones of that and paired it with the muted tone cardigan she has I think this one said it was from Cezanne I was literally looking at like all her pieces and then on open wardrobe you can say what brand they're from and I was looking at every single brand of her pieces because I was jealous and then because it's a lot going on the striped pants and you know a blue top I thought black accessories would make it look more fall appropriate and not so like red, white, and blue. So I really, really like how this outfit turned out. Okay, and then the last outfit, this little red jacket is so cute. I'm pretty sure I've seen her wearing it like on the Discord before. Birkin basket again. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> black knee-high boots, and then this really pretty like tiered pinstripe maxi skirt. It's just a good outfit. Like she has good pieces. Rob list, okay. But that's it for this video. Those were my styling with your guys' pieces. I had a lot of fun doing it. It took me a long time because let's get way too into it and have too much fun. So if you guys want to style me in one of my upcoming videos, I'm gonna leave instructions on how to do that here. So it's really simple. Make sure you're on the wardrobes tab scroll down where you can find friends type in my username which is just laney ozark hit the button that says request access and then you can check out my closet and put outfits together there yeah i can't wait to see what you guys make for me i honestly feel like you guys have better style than me and i'm like why do you watch my videos i don't know but that's it for this video thank you again halara for sponsoring literally the coziest pieces while still being so cute and use the link in the description box to shop them use the link in the description box to get 15 percent off halara and use my code to get 15 percent off use the link in the description box to join discord and add me an open wardrobe i love you guys the absolute most i'll see you in a few days bye